how you feeling this opportunity? How do I feel this opportunity? Uh, I feel great, man. I feel blessed. It's an opportunity to play the game that, uh, that I've been playing since a kid, the game that I love. And uh, I get another opportunity in a, in, a, in a new city. Is this a, do you view it as a better situation than where you're coming from? Uh, I'm just, I mean, I still was able to play or be around the game and mm -hmm. teach and learn and do all those things. So uh, every situation is a blessed, uh, a blessed situation uh, when you're playing at this level. Uh, 450 of the best basketball players in the world, so anytime you got a roster spot, you're good. You've obviously been in the league for a while. What, how familiar are you with the team that the Blazers are, are currently playing with? Uh, well, I know tendencies because sure. just scouting reports yeah. and all that, so uh, those things I'm pretty familiar with, but getting to know like the, like the, uh, like the ins and outs of each player together, uh, playing with them is a little different, so I'm um, just trying to Probably take a little while to figure that out, but um, everybody's been very welcoming, accommodating. So I don't think it'll be long before I can f figure things out. What's been your view of the Blazers, you know, this season, kind of from the outside in? <sighs> from the outside in, honestly, it's just I can't figure out why they're struggling, or when I was on the other team, couldn't figure out why the struggle was so big. But um, when you really dig in and look, you just have a lot of players hurt. How would you describe your season so far? Uh, <laughs> my season so far, uh, it's just, I guess, just here, you know, just being there. I wouldn't call it great, I wouldn't call it terrible, but it's just a season. You talk about kind of mentorship. How do you view yourself at this point in your career, I guess? Because that was kind of one of the first things uh, you Just, well, in Sacramento, that was part of my yeah, my role is trying to help the younger guys come along that didn't have that much experience. Um, but this is a different situation, so uh, my role will probably change again. <laughs> what do you think it will be? What, what are they telling you? Play defense, shoot threes, do what I can to help this team win. That's, uh, I guess that's my new role. Coach Doss likes to shoot threes, so you yeah. must be happy about that, right? Whatever, I'm happy anytime I'm on the court. So whether I'm shooting the ball, playing defense, anything I can do to help the team win, that's what I try to do uh, to the best of my abilities. So I'm not one to complain about shots, not one to complain about touches or any of that. I just play. They talk a lot about, the, I mean, I think the expectations are probably coming and start right away. Is that is that your expectation? And I know a lot of times guys say they don't care, but a lot of other guys say that you know everyone wants to start. Well, of course you want to start. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he did tell me I was coming to start. Most of my career in the NBA, I've been a starter, so that's kind of like what I'm used to. Well, and that was different in in Sacramento. I mean, because it was an adjustment was the first period. Year that, yeah, know, yeah. yeah. It was an adjustment, but. Uh, when I got an opportunity to play extended minutes, I, I felt like I, I found a rhythm a little bit and uh, everything was cool. So just looking to get out here tomorrow and uh, and shoot around, learn the scouting report, learn what we do here and get to it. Did you say Neil told you that or coach told you that? Yeah, that? yeah, the coach told me. Yeah, coach. Do you think it'll give you a chance to have more of a rhythm here, you know, being in the starting lineup versus coming off the bench? I think so. Um, more opportunity, uh, a little bit more rhythm uh, when you play in heavy minutes. So I think uh, I think it will be to I guess media and fans it would be a, a better opportunity or more opportunity. What's your reaction when you heard that you've been traded here? Uh, I didn't have a reaction. Oh, you know what? But once I did think about it, I was thinking like, dang, I hope nobody's still pissed at me for. Uh, Rudy? Yeah, way back when. <laughs> Have you heard from some Blazer fans about that recently? Uh, no, 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 I, I you didn't. You think they've forgiven you probably? I don't know, man. What I do know about the fans here is that they're very supportive. And playing here has always been a, been a tough place to play. What's your memory of that play with Rudy? Uh, what I remember, we was getting blown out. Probably, I think we were losing by 20. And it was like, I think in the fourth quarter, and. You know, 
he was kind of like in front of me, like uh, uh, what is it, open court, and uh, I was just trying to make a play on the ball. And unfortunately, he uh, he got hurt. He was pretty light. I was pretty light too, but I guess the momentum of you know the velocity that I were in uh, uh, kind of took him down, hurt him. Did you talk to him? Did you communicate with Rudy after that happened? Uh, I did right after. Um, I told him, I mean, obviously I didn't do it on purpose. It's a part of it. It was a basketball play that he just, you know, that went wrong. And I don't think he uh, took it personal. It wasn't nothing personal for me. But, you know, you never like to see anybody get hurt. You never like to hurt anybody. This is what we do uh, for a living. This is what we do to feed our family. So it's, it's never no uh, malicious intent. Different teams. What do you do to sort of switch the mentality when you move from team to team? Ah, switch the mentality. You kind of just get the feel of what everybody else does when you get to that team. Um, me being a player that kind of pieces things together, I just kind of try to try to uh, feel the, the temperament of the team and get in where I fit in. Adjustment is this. Established NBA player for a long time, but the last couple of years you bounced around a little bit. How difficult has that been for you? It's more difficult for my family than it is for me. Uh, I know what this is coming into to this game. I've been here a long time, but when you have children and they have to move from school, new city, new friends, and get out of their comfort zone, it's it's that's the tough part. But everything else is it's pretty easy. Have they moved with you every time you've been? Usually, but they're probably not going to move this time. Have the Blazers given you any indication about what they might do next season as far as your contract? Man, we're just worrying about the here and now. We have a little uh, a push to try to try to make it into the playoffs, so I think that's the main focus, the only focus and the main concern right now. How many children do you have? How many kids do you have? Three. Yeah. Two boys and a girl. They're in sack. <laughs> 11, 8, and 7. Yeah. So they're uh, meeting people or meeting kids, finding friends, have their little routines and all that. So don't want to disrupt that right now in the middle of the school year.